Hi everyone, my name is Brittany and I work at the Yellowknife Public Library. Today we're going to be reading Libby Loves Science Mix and Measure and then we're going to be baking some cupcakes with my little helper Sydney. Mmm, they look yummy, don't they Sydney? <laughs> Libby Loves Science Mix and Measure. On Saturday morning, Libby got up early. She fed her dog sprinkles. Then she made her own breakfast. Today was a special day. Happy birthday, Sprinkles, Libby said, hugging her dog. What time is the puppy party? Asked Libby's mother. It starts in two hours, Libby said. Rosa is coming over now to help me get ready. I wanna to help too, said Leo, Libby's little brother. As soon as Rosa arrived, they got started. We need some doggy decorations, said Rosa. We need some doggy treats, said Leo. We need to make cupcakes for our guests, said Libby. Sprinkles wagged her tail. She was excited too. Libby and Rosa found the perfect cupcake recipe. The cupcakes looked fluffy and yummy. Each cupcake had a candy paw print on the top. These are so cute, said Rosa. The friends read the list of ingredients. I'll get the sugar, flour, and baking powder, said Libby. I'll get the milk, vanilla, and butter, said Rosa. Leo knocked over the baking powder by mistake. What a mess. Leo, said Libby. The friends got out mixing bowls, measuring spoons, and measuring cups. Libby found the hand mixer. Let's bake, she said. Ruff, said Sprinkles. Libby read the recipe. First, we need to measure the flour, she said. Rosa picked up a measuring cup. She carefully measured one and a half cups of flour, then poured it into a bowl. What's next, asked Rosa. Now we mix the other ingredients in a different bowl, said Libby. In a second bowl, Libby and Rosa mixed together one cup of sugar, half a cup of butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, and two eggs. Now what does the recipe say, Rosa asked. Libby read the directions. We have to mix all the ingredients and then stir in half a cup of milk, she said. Make sure there are no lumps, said Rosa. Mixing is just as important as measuring, said Libby. The friends took turns mixing the batter until it was perfect. That looks good, said Libby. Yay, it's time to bake the cupcakes, said Rosa. Rosa put paper liners into the cupcake pan. The liners were decorated with paw prints. Libby spooned batter into each liner. She filled each liner halfway. She used only half of the batter in the bowl. Libby's mom put the cupcakes into the oven and set the timer. Are they done yet? Leo asked. The recipe says they need to bake for 20 minutes, Rosa said. Let's decorate for the party while the cupcakes are baking, Libby said. Libby, Leo, and Rosa strung streamers around the yard. They set up a doggy groomy station and a bubble machine. They set up hoops to jump through. They even made a special happy birthday sign. Leo poured doggy treats into bowls. Ding! <gasps> the cupcakes are ready, Rosa said. Libby's mom pulled the hot cupcake pan out of the oven. Oh no, our cupcakes are flat, Libby said. And they're hard, Rosa said. They look like rocks, said Leo. They sure aren't fluffy, said Libby. What happened, said Rosa. Libby noticed the spilled baking powder on the counter. We forgot an important ingredient, she said. Baking powder is what makes the cupcakes rise. Do we have to start over, asked Rosa. I don't think so, Libby said. We still have half the batter left. Libby and Rosa studied the recipe again. It says to use one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, Rosa said. She reached for the measuring spoon. Wait, said Libby. We only have half the batter left, so we should cut that amount in half. Good thinking, said Rosa. What is half of one and a half teaspoons? I know, said Libby. It's three quarters of a teaspoon. Rosa, Rosa measured the baking powder. Leo mixed it in with the batter. Libby's mom put the new batch of cupcakes into the oven. Cross your fingers, Libby said. 
This time, when the cupcakes came out, they were perfect. Yummy, said Leo. Everyone's going to love these, said Rosa. We need to decorate them before our guests get here, Libby said. They still need to cool, said Rosa. We're running out of time. Ruff, said Sprinkles. While they waited, Libby, Rosa, and Leo stuffed goodie bags for their guests. Every pup would get one chew toy and one doggy treat, and every friend would get a puppy sticker and a puppy pencil. Finally, the cupcakes were cool. Libby, Rosa, and Leo frosted each one. Then they decorated them with paw prints made of candy. They finished just in the nick of time. Minutes later, the guests arrived. The humans put on their party hats and the pups wear their doggy bandanas. There was a lot of barking. There was even more wagging. The pups played pin the tail on the cat, Sprinkles won. The pups played musical mats, Sprinkles lost. Some dogs were groomed, some dogs took naps. The pups loved their treats and everyone loved the cupcakes. How did you make such fluffy cupcakes? asked Libby's mom. We mixed and measure measured, said Libby. We frosted and decorated, said Leo. Baking is so much fun, said Rosa. That's because baking is science, said Libby, and I love science. The end. Before we start baking, we always wanna wash our hands with soap and water. I like to gather all my ingredients and all the tools I'll need for baking before I start. The box says to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Sydney's gonna help us line our muffin tins with liners. Which color do you like best? Looks like we're going with pink. First, we put our cake batter into the bowl. Then we pour in our oil, half a cup. And we put in our three eggs. You wanna crack the eggs into a bowl before you pour them in, just in case you get any shell pieces so you can pick them out. One, two, three. Then we measure one cup of milk. Remember, you can use any type of milk that you like. Now we have to mix vigorously by hand. You can also use a stand mixer or a hand mixer if you have one, but whisking is always fun too. So you have to whisk for two minutes. Whew, mixing for two minutes by hand is hard. I had to have Sydney help me because my hand got tired. Thanks, Sid. Now we have to fill each one of our muffin tins about three quarters of the way full of batter. I like to use a one quarter measuring cup to do this. Now we're all set to put them in the oven. Make sure you have an adult to help you with the oven. They're very hot. Now we wait. We're going to set our timer for 15 minutes. Make sure you read the back of your box very carefully for the instructions. While we wait for our cupcakes to bake, now is a great time to clean up our mess and wash all the dishes. It's time to check our muffins. They look like they're almost done. You can use a toothpick and have an adult help you to see if they're ready. If the toothpick comes out clean, they're ready. Looks like they're done. Wow, they're nice and fluffy, just like Libby's. Make sure you have an adult help you take them out of the oven, let them cool, and then move them over to your cooling racks. And now it's time for everyone's favorite part of baking cupcakes, frosting them. So we have our vanilla frosting, but if you have food coloring on hand, you can add some to make some fun colors. So if you added pink and blue food coloring together, what color would your icing be? What do you think, Sydney? What about if you added blue and yellow together, then what color would you get? I think you know. 
So there's two ways that we can ice our cupcakes. We can do it simply with a knife, with your vanilla icing. Scoop out some of the icing, pick up a cupcake, and frost away. You could put as much or as little as you'd like. Ta-da! The other way is to put our icing into what's called a piping bag. The best way to do this is to put your bag into a cup so it has support, and then begin to fill it with icing. You can do all kinds of designs with a piping bag. You can do dots, swirls, and now you can decorate your cupcakes if you want with some sprinkles. Put as many or as little as you like. We sure made some beautiful cupcakes today. Thanks for all your help, Sydney.